Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Music Show. I'm Ray Brazelton, your host. And I'm Nick Rita, co-host. And we have a show with a little bit new perspective today. Uh, we have rock star, rock star Mark, and <laughs> superstar Chris with okay. us today. And uh, so we're going to uh, tell you a little bit about them. Uh, they've, uh, again, got a project. And this project uh, goes around all around uh, the East Coast and uh, probably to the West Coast. We've got schools involved all over the United States uh, and a lot of uh, famous people interacting with their shows, with their uh, music shows and their uh, just everything they do in this project. Uh, I'd like you to, you know, stay tuned we, uh, to this show. It's a special show and uh, I really am asking that a lot of parents and uh, young people uh, might uh, stick in, stay tuned to watch this show today. Uh, any high school principals or superintendents of schools might be very interested in this show today. Uh, along with the show, of course, we have our regular, our regular stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We have an interesting showcase. Yeah. Uh, a round table. We're not going to have the round table for the round table. But, but we will have table. a round table. Yeah. All the regular stuff. Except it's going to be different. A lot different. So yeah. as you notice, our desk is a lot different. So, uh, you know, everybody uh, stay tuned uh, for this new show. And we'll call it the what? Rockstar Superstar Project. Well, let's call it the Rockstar Superstar Project, and this is the table of the nights. <laughs> there you go. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Jill. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. We'll get started. Very good.
Well, welcome back to the show, and uh, we sure hope you enjoyed our first song that we played for you, which comes from the soundtrack album. Serenity. Serenity. And uh, I'll have to tell you, this is uh, a great album, and we'll talk more about it later, but I thought we'd go ahead and have you guys introduce yourselves, and uh, you want to start? Sure, <laughs> sure. I'm Rockstar. I am Superstar. Zach Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the all three... Uh, have performed together a lot on the uh, with the band, and they've uh, done videos. and with the, And today they're uh, joining us for uh, some conversation. And in addition to the videos, we're going to be showing you throughout this whole show. So, uh, oh, I guess we could start out with a. We got your names and everything. I guess you play uh, basically. Somebody taught you to play guitar, right? So you play you play guitar and uh, lead guitar, right? <laughs> well, actually, I do not play the. I do play play lead guitar. Um, outside of the CD recording oh, process. Right. I did not, what, what we decided to do was hand off the reins of the lead guitar players to actually professionals and right. idols that we grew up listening to. Right, right. So I do play all the rhythm on the, on the, you know, on the actual yeah, CD, great. but I did not play any leads. But I do play both, and I learned how to play both <laughs> by, no. oh. <laughs> yeah, you can say by it. By one <laughs> other, by no other man than you. You well, were the best guitar teacher on the planet, and I wouldn't be playing if it weren't for you, Mr. That, Mr. Brad. That was very nice <laughs> for you to say. I'll pay you later. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> and, the table, and of course, uh, we got uh, Superstar here, uh, and and uh, Superstar, I, I introduced you instead of you introducing yourself, but I hope you don't no. mind that. That's and uh, Superstar, uh, Chris, uh, you actually uh, play drums, and you I, play with the group during the videos too, I, I believe, doesn't he? Yeah, Sometimes, you, you'll see. I, I do play the drums, and and we'll touch base upon that. I know, and I, I of course I learned from Chris, Chris your son, my son, Chris, um, very talented young soul, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I played on the entire CD, Serenity, mm -hmm. and certainly have done some stuff out live with the group. And again, it's something that my brother and I have decided that we'd like to hand these things off to the seasoned pros. Well, that's, you know, that's exactly what we do live too. But now talk about pros. Uh, yeah. Seems to me that Zach does a lot of professional. You do a lot of the lead, don't you? Yeah, lead vocalist. I sing five songs on the album, and I, you know, co-produced the record with Chris. Right. And I play drums as well. I played okay. some drums um, yeah. on the record here or there. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. doing what I do. Yeah. I I have a band called Circle to Circle, mm -hmm. and I previously sang with a band called Sabotage, mm -hmm. and I currently sing with a band called Trans Siberian Orchestra, which yes. is basically. The group that t that sabotage became. Yes. A lot of people don't know that uh, no. that background information, but yeah. um, you know that's pretty. Well, much a lot what of I people do. know that group too. So I mean that's yes. very popular. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, also well. Let's uh, just real quickly uh, uh, get a. Uh, uh, we talked about it real quickly. We'll mention the, the names Rockstar and Superstar. Uh, how they came to be. What why you chose those names and how they work with the. Uh, with the project uh, that you're doing and what the project is about, hmm. what we're doing here. Well, I've got no problem answering, of course, why we changed our names to the names that we did. You know, it actually came about originally from the idea of always wanting to be the rock stars, but then actually coming up with the idea of doing it legally, which was a big deal um, to us, was the, the reason why it was done was to obviously to grab, you know, kids' attention and to be kind of uh, to, to be creative mm -hmm. in trying to grab their attention because you know when when kids look up to people um, they typically don't want to look up to a guy named Mike or Tom if, if somebody's actually trying to you know um, teach them a message or send a message to them like I know when my brother goes to the schools and talks about his sobriety message 
kids, and I know when I was in, in high school, we would have people come in, talk in their auditorium, and their name would be Mike. But I certainly wouldn't soak up any of the information because I didn't really take him seriously. Either he came in a tie or um, he was just too serious. So when my brother comes in as superstar, it's definitely a way to grab kids' attention because even if they even if they make fun of him for just a second and they say, what, this kid's coming in, this guy's coming in, his name is Superstar, at least my brother has their attention. And then he takes it from there. Yeah. And I, watching uh, the web, your uh, website and seeing uh, video, I, be, I can't remember which one it was, where you were at the school in Penfield. Yes. And you were talking, oh my gosh, he, what a uh, grand entrance. I said, that's, that's Chris? And yeah, I had <laughs> That's Superstar? Superstar. I had, I had the kids super. were, you know, they were prepped with who it is that I was when I, yeah, before I had come in, and they got some, some schooling, and, uh, and so there were some homework assignments based upon the whole Rockstar Superstar project, which yeah. is which I think is just brilliant because it gets kids engaged in the subject matter um, before I even arrive into the building. Right. And but when I walked out on that stage, yeah, it was already a standing. They, they were hyped, and they were hyped, and they were ready to absorb. There were little sponges out there, and I was just throwing my water of information yeah. out their way. You know, yeah. and uh, well, it, it really was uh, impressive, okay. and and it was even more impressive when you actually started talking about yeah. the project. And, uh, and can you give us, we're going to talk more about the project uh, at the round table and everything. Uh, and we're going to have a few stories maybe and fun things to talk about too. Uh, but uh, can you give us a real quick, because um, I, I don't think they yet have know what uh, right. the project's about. And well, let me, I'll take over the quick synopsis Absolutely. here. With this this yeah. Rockstar Superstar project is an initiative to raise awareness to the dreaded beast that we call uh, addiction. And we do this through a variety of different programs, uh, and they're all interactive. We have, the, of course, the musical tour, which is why we're here in the first place on the East Coast. We're doing this rock and recovery tour, and we're giving, um, handing out our message to as many ears as that uh, can are in <laughs> the area to hear our message, of course, which, of course, would be the arena <laughs> in which we play. Um, but also, in addition to that, I do schools. Um, so we got a rock and recovery tour on one hand, it's conveying our message to the masses, and we got our school programs where I go around and soon my brother and we speak to schools about the importance of responsibility, dream catching, um, and sobriety. Now there's a lot more to this story than you know yet, and you're going to hear more of it later. Uh, but um, <clears throat> I can tell you that Superstar uh, was very much a part of this uh, bad drug scene at one, at mm -hmm. one time. That started and, in Rochester. And we're going to, yes, and we're going to talk about how he uh, maybe got into it and, uh, and the very, very uh, courageous uh, rock star that helped him out of it and, uh, and all the other people that uh, I'm sure helped you. And uh, so we're, uh, you know, we're going to get into all that. And I think that, uh, again, I heard from the Penfield, uh, some of the uh, people mentioned how they, the, the superintendent or whatever, mm -hmm. that uh, they had no idea uh, how good this was going to be and how much it helped their people. They just had no idea what a good job you were going to do on this. And The depth of this presentation was way more than what I expected from my students. Superstar's presentation was very entertaining, a lot of fun. That was the best assembly this school has ever had.
Hi, my name is Margie Tabor, and I am a member of the team at Rockstar Superstar Project. I am a New York State Credentialed Addictions Counselor. I have worked in the field for almost 20 years, and my experience includes working with adolescents and families in a residential treatment center and supervising an adolescent outpatient program. I have also served on the leadership team of the Adolescent Specialty Committee from 2003 to 2010 with NADAC, the Association of Addiction Professionals. Part of my responsibilities at Rockstar Superstar Project involves providing professional consultation in the development of our programs for students, families, and communities. We have designed at Rockstar Superstar Project assembly and community presentations in a way that engage the audience's attention using a variety of multimedia formats. We understand the language of teens and present superstar story and message through music, video, and conversation, tying in national statistics on adolescent trends. The presentation has proven to be successful based upon feedback that indicates that we have been able to communicate superstar's powerful message of rebranding sobriety, making responsible choices, and dream catching in a highly effective manner to specific target audiences that include middle school, high school, college students, parents, and community members. And I never thought that I would be that guy to rifle through that man's pockets. Now he's on the ground having a drug-related seizure so I can get an extra five bucks for one more hit. Oh, but I became that guy. For more information on Rockstar Superstar programs or to schedule an event, call 315-332-1013 or send an email to bookings at rssworldwide.com. I have been in the toilet thank you very much, actually a little louder, so just one more time, one more time. One, two, three. The other thing we're going to talk about again later is uh, you have a lot of connections with the the, the big uh, star, the big guns, the big guns, and they played on your, I believe they played on your soundtracks with you. Yeah. Uh, can you give us a few names? Uh, Besides the legendary person who sits to my to left, Zach. Zach Stevens, of course. And this makes this whole thing awkward because Zach was, of course, the poster <laughs> child. Actual posters on our wall. Growing up, that our mom eventually ripped off the walls. <laughs> we won't um, but that's much. a whole other story. But you know, he was on. He was in these posters. Yeah. So to bring him on board, along with, alongside other members from bands such as Kiss and, and Heart and Goo Goo Dolls and uh, other members from Transiberian Orchestra, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, you know, it's just been. Uh, I think that that, yeah. that is it's how powerful this is. Because yeah. you know what, if I. If I sober and if my brother didn't step up to the plate and uh, learn about addiction and help me find recovery we would have never found responsibility enough to even find and work with a childhood hero so here we are sitting next to me childhood hero. Absolutely. you know and he is it. he is every bit of the childhood hero yeah. that we make him out to be because he is to not only us but you know to his millions of fans <laughs> over the world so yeah absolutely great. exactly yeah. what he just said because you know if, if it weren't if that's part of the dream ca catching message that we you know try to uh talk about and the message that we deliver because if if my brother was still in a corner somewhere doing what he used to do we would not be working with our childhood heroes so it's so important you know you've got to do that when you're sober and you can only do that when you're sober which is why we're here well we're going to get into all this uh at the round table we have another song or two or three <laughs> that we got we're going to have Spend done uh, so let's uh let's go right to them and we'll be we'll be right with you You can fly 
we're back at you again. I uh, hope you enjoyed the national anthem. It's a little different than I uh, learned it, but uh, but uh, <laughs> very cool, very cool. And thank you. Uh, you guys wrote that? Absolutely. Yeah, that was an interesting song. That, yeah. Well, that was an interesting song that came about. From uh, we went into a studio, and uh, all the songs were written for the CD, every single one. And the studio producer um, came to me and came to Chris and I, actually both superstar, and said, "You know what? You guys need an anthem. This last song that you just brought into us is just no good, and you need an anthem." So I actually went home, and I was pretty bummed out because I had actually wrote that last song, the music for it. Um, and so it was me that they were picking on as far as the songwriting was concerned with that Somebody's particular song. Somebody's got to take the brunt of it. And I was taking the brunt <laughs> of it. So I went in, you know, to this little room, and I closed the door, and I was thinking, okay, um, Kiss has an anthem, Rock and Roll Night, of course. And then I'm like, okay, I need it. What, what, what do I do? And I'm stressing out. And then, I'm, and then I was like, National Anthem. National Anthem. Well, it really doesn't get any bigger than the National Anthem. <laughs> and well, our philosophy is go big or go home. So we always try to think outside of the box and think as big as we possibly can because we want to make sure that this message is a powerful message that we actually are trying to convey. And so I, 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 I laid down something on the guitar and I remember coming out and Chris was in the room and I said, Superstar, I think I got something. Think about this, National Anthem 2.0. Next thing you know, I laid it out. Chris wrote all the lyrics for it, which were amazing. And National Anthem 2.0, here it is. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good good song. And Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, not to bring this up, but it was actually nominated for the yeah. LA Music uh, Rock Song of the Year. Great. Category. So well, it's got to be good. That. Yeah, the song, you know, it serves as a testament to this country's values uh, and, of course, pays respect to the the police officers and firefighters and paramedics and anybody else who's keeping us here at home secure and abroad as well. Those uh, individuals are fighting for this country and this freedom to tape here mm -hmm. today. <laughs> and uh, That's true. of course, uh, NA2O pays that respect well, as it does. So Great song. I, I, we thank you both for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're we're going to be uh, going into a new, another song here for that uh, you, you said you'd do for us. And I believe, I believe it's going to get out of my way. Oh, I tell you what, we're gonna do. You are not alone. Okay. That's yeah. what we're gonna that's do. That's it. You're not alone. That, this whole, let, that's yeah. right. Let's go over right. Okay, let's do that one. Yeah. So Tell that, us about that. Yeah, you are not alone. Uh, I'm gonna have Zach get a, a little bit into um, <coughs> uh -huh. some of the what, how he was involved. But you are not alone came about from the partnership for Drug Free America. I had, had a contest. Mm -hmm. And Rockstar Superstar Project is very involved with all of, of the uh, agencies out there across the United States, from National Institute of uh, Drug Abuse and uh, National Council of Alcoholism and Drug Dependence and Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration, and of course, a partnership for Drug Free America. So they were doing a contest and they called up the Rockstar Superstar Project. They said, we'd love to have you guys submit a video. And of course, if you want, if you can, if you can, please write a song called You Are Not Alone. So we did that on their behalf. And uh, they released a video, and we've gotten wonderful reviews from that. And of course, we're gonna we're gonna see some of that. And uh, but Zach. I did bring in Zach some of the, Zach for some of the writing because we right. needed this one to be a really powerful mm -hmm. trip for these kids. So now your writing of this comes from just knowledge, experience uh, of, of. I mean, it apparently was a it's a big hit, and uh, you put a lot of effort into this. So the guys are. Uh, uh, I'm sure we're appreciative for what he's what, what you, you've done, Zach, on this, and uh, mm -hmm. so. Uh, I think it was, you know, great. I mean, just I just pretty much took it from the title, you know, being you're not alone. You and from the experiences that I've seen in the music business for so long, you know, people who have struggled with addiction, right. it's just a lot, you know, numerous. Right. And what I wanted to do to get across in the lyrics of the song was to go ahead and say, there's always somebody out there who's been through that. Most likely, what you're going through. Mm -hmm. You just have to give them a chance. You have to give them a chance to help you. And uh, that's really what the lyrics are all about. If you're struggling, you're going through something, give help a chance first. You know, sit down and talk it out. Sure. And, um, you know, then you're going that first step to exactly accepting help. Well, yeah. well um, on that note, no pun intended, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to that song, Guy. You're Not Alone. Peace that you could 
You see this? It's not the rock sign. It's not the I love rock and roll sign. It's a U. One of the one it stands for? You are not alone. Don't forget it. Uh, happy to have you again on the music show. We're at the showcase part of our show and a little bit different than uh, just an instrument showcase uh, and we do this periodically. Uh, this is a discussion that we're going to have today and uh, uh, it's going to be on actually. Uh, well, I'm going to introduce you to the guy, uh, Zach Stevens from uh, Circle to Circle and uh, I think a lot of you people may know uh, Zach already uh, and also today of course he's been with us with, with uh, superstar uh, Chris and uh, rock star Mark. And uh, so right. we're uh, uh, happy to have had you on the show. Thanks. Uh, but uh, we, we wanted to just, uh, I think this was my idea. Yeah, it was. Yes, it I was. thought it would be neat to just get a, a perspective from a rock and roll star's uh, command of the, you know, the audience and everything. And you've been in uh, many different venues and many different groups, and you're the lead singer. Right. And, and uh, we even talked about you being in the drums and singing. So, so right. there's, there's some things we can talk about. Can you give us a perspective on this whole idea of commanding the performance? You do that for a sec. Sure. I think when you talk about commanding the audience, what you want to do is, it comes with confidence, first of all. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of put together everything you've learned, mm -hmm. no matter what stage you're at. You want to be able to combine all that, you know, during your song or your act or, you know, whatever you're doing up there. In my case, vocals. So I take my 35 years of singing <laughs> and I get up on stage and I want to command it by having a lot of eye contact with the audience. Yes. I think that's important. I think a great way to think about it, if you're a singer, if you play either a large venue or a small venue, you want to be able to look at the person close to in the back and still be able to stare them in the eyes oh, and see. knock them down. Sure. And if you can go all the way out to the audience like that and maybe look at somebody in the back and stare, you know, look them in the eye a little bit, not too much to make them too nervous, but when they, you can tell when people start to get a little bit fidgety. Yeah. Um, but look enough to where if you can command that person in the back of the room and kind of like, like I said, kind of like stare down for a second, then the people in the front see that. They don't really know what you're looking at, but they really feel that you're connecting. And then, of course, you want to come to the front rows. Um, you know, we do a lot of things where I get a lot of contact with the audience uh, with a handshake or something like that, mm -hmm. a slap across the front, kind of lets them know, hey, you're real up yeah. there. Yeah. You know, you're singing at the same time. You don't, of course, everybody sees my uh, prop microphone that I'm using right here in this uh, segment. But, you know, just to be able to, you know, be doing your craft and, and shake a hand at the same time, that means a lot. And, oh, and it, you know, just little things like that about trying to connect using your visual as well as your voice or your, whatever instrument you're playing. Yeah, now, now, you're talking, too, about lighting. Can you give us some, some feeling on the lighting you were ta talking to me about earlier? Yeah. You know, when you play different places all the time, a lot of acts don't really carry their own production. If you do, then a lot of times they'll put an X on the stage and that's where you're going to stand um, and kind of work that area or there might be several X's to work. But in a case where in my work we have some acts that, like Trans-Siberian Orchestra, you would bring out your own production every night. So you have a set thing where you know you're going to be uh, on stage. In and a you case, work with them, right? Yes. Yes, right. And, but in my band Circle to Circle, we play clubs all over the country all the time and we don't carry our own production because it's mostly the club stages and the small theaters. So they're going to have a set lighting uh, up in every club. It's going to be different. What do you do? Don't be shy away from the light. Um, find the light, get in it, feel where it's hot, and stand there. And if you have to just be hot all night, too bad because that's what's going to light you up. Yeah. And you have to be willing to stand in it. Maybe you can find two or three hot spots as a front man. You're going to work the front of the stage. Right. And you're going to kind of back off when your guys do solos. You know, let them have the stage, interact a little bit with the guitar players um, and the drummer. But mainly, just knowing where the hot spots are and getting out there and, you know, lighting yourself up. Don't be scared to light yourself up for the audience. One thing I really want to see is some of the... Uh positions and stuff. <laughs> I knew you were going to laugh when I said it, but you were doing some before we started taping. And I, I thought they were pretty cool. And I'd like you to, uh, to, do, to do that, uh, some stances uh, that, that, you know, turn on the audience. Well, right. Uh, it's mostly about angles. Um, if you're going to go, uh, let's say I'm taking a straight angle right now, 
you might, the bending of the knees oh, yeah. is a little bit good. When you're taking the, the straight flat angle, you want to bend those knees a little bit, you know, and yeah. that looks pretty good. Yeah. Of course, we were joking about my tattoos earlier. <laughs> you know, if you want to get these big giant tattoos that show up when you're singing, you know, yeah. do, do like this. But, uh, and a lot of uh, the other stuff, if you're not going to go flat to the audience, you know, maybe one step in front, uh, choose your angles, you know, especially when interacting with people on the stage, mm -hmm. kind of come in a little behind, let's say you're the guitar player. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come in back this a little bit. See, that looks like a good picture, right? Yeah, yeah, and I'm kind of sneaking in behind you a little bit there. And otherwise, uh, this is a good one too. Let's say you're playing a solo or something. I'm just going to step mm -hmm. back and just kind of do like this. Mm -hmm. And when by watching you, that makes the yeah. audience right. watch you as well. That's interesting. So, yeah. uh, but many times, if you're the you know, lead singer, where you're looking, mm -hmm. you actually command the audience to look to that place. That's, I didn't realize. I never thought about that. Yeah. That's some interesting, uh, interesting topics. Even with my little mic, I yeah. have the power, you see. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, and by the way, I want you to know that I try to be cool for rock star and superstar Very nice. today and Zach. So uh, you guys have probably never good. seen me this way before. But I know. You're going to make fun of me out when you talk to me. I know all of you. <laughs> all my friends out there, I know, they just make fun of me out in the road, you know. <laughs> if they see at the store. Yeah, they see me at the store or they see me around the town <laughs> or something. Oh, That's Ray, right. you made a jerk out of yourself. That. <laughs> That's right. And I do, but but nevertheless, <laughs> anyhow, I'm so glad you did join us, regardless of whether I made a jerk out of myself. And that you're with Zach. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks a lot. I hope Appreciate you got that. something out of this. I thought it was very good for uh, some of the people that are in the rock bands that want to know how to do it. And That's I think right. it's precious and good advice that they ought to... Take heed, okay? And thanks for having so, me, So um, let's uh, go on with the rest of the show, and uh, thank you for joining us.
uh, glad to be back with you again. We're uh, really kind of in uh, the round table type part of the uh, segment of the, uh, the TV show, uh, although it's, uh, I don't know where a round table is. Oh, it's down there. It's up there. See, it's, I see it, yeah. yeah. And uh, we are uh, going to talk a little bit about uh, their DVD, or actually it's a CD. CD. CD and I uh, try to. Yeah, we yeah. stopped promoting our eight tracks a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. We're still on this. You can still buy them, though, can't you? <laughs> yep, yep. Ames has them. <laughs> right, Ames still has them. <laughs> and, um, I don't want to get rid of my eight track player. That's it. <laughs> but we've got uh, this one here, and, and I know this is a, a big project, this CD here. And you might want to tell us, uh, either one of you uh, might want to tell us a little bit uh, about the CD. Well, it's a very serious project, which is why it's a big pro project. We yeah. actually decided to go ahead and kind of make it um, fun, unique. Uh, Chris, I want to, Superstar, I want, uh, sure. I want to hear from you. And, 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 you know, you've got a great way of telling the story and, and talking about the project. So go for well, it. Well, why don't we start with the CD more, yeah. and then we'll get into the yeah, book. That's yeah, that's exactly uh, what I want. That is exactly where I'm going to take this. Mm -hmm. This CD, Serenity, of course, is a, a CD created to raise awareness again to addiction issues and convey our message to, to the masses. And um, part of that message is, uh, in addition to sobriety, it's also about uh, responsibility. It's also about dream catching. And again, we tied in the childhood hero stories already. But this came about from a meeting with another childhood hero and um, him ha having him help us uh, assemble the musicians. Uh, my brother and I wrote these songs, uh, sat down and wrote these songs, which would later appear in the hands of our musicians, and they would graciously accept these songs. And it's for sale and obviously uh, available you, on Hot Topics as yeah. well as the website. You, uh, website, can you give us some uh, information that we can put on the bottom sure, of the screen? Sure, it's rockstarsuperstarproject.com. Um, and again, it's rockstarsuperstarproject.com. If you use coupon code HELP, you get 10% off the CD. So 10% of that goes into the goes back towards the We Are One Foundation. Some of the songs we've done today are on this CD. Am I right? Yeah, they're all on the CD, and those right. are the ones that we uh, perform live. In addition to the Circle to Circle songs that we've also brought in, thanks to Zach and his yeah. his guys' help. Um, to help convey our message. They've integrated perfectly because yeah. Zach's such a brilliant songwriter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some of the you know uh, messages that are actually in Circle to Circle's music is actually parallel with along with you know what we do. Now I, uh, I guess I'm old-fashioned. Circle to Circle is Circle to Circle is Zach Stevens' current lineup band. Okay. Uh, Zach. That's yes, right. That's my current band. Okay. Uh, we also play a few songs from Sabotage. Yeah which was the band I was currently, uh, that I used to be in up to the year 2000. We mm -hmm. formed Circle to Circle in 2003, but mm -hmm. uh, we also play a couple of Sabotage songs that have direct, uh, direct. Re you know, relevance to mm -hmm. the message that we're getting across here too. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, it really turns out to be uh, nice how all the songs, they're very relevant to each other and they work really well live. Yeah, we People hear us playing a, you know, rock star, superstar song, then they'll hear a circle to circle song, maybe uh, Alone You Breathe, which is a sabotage song that was actually written for Chris Oliva, the late Chris Oliva, who was the guitarist of Sabotage. Uh, he was killed in a drunk driving accident where he was struck by a drunk driver and, and uh, unfortunately uh, killed at that time in 1993. It was actually very recently, October 17th of 93. So that song has direct relevance uh, to what we're talking about because it was written for Chris after that tragic accident caused mm -hmm. by a drunk driver mm -hmm. who wound up spending about 10 to 12 years in prison after that oh, because it was a you know it was his third offense and it wasn't you know DUI homicide and all that bad business so yeah. just kind of telling about the dangers of what could be out there but yeah. you know the music fits well together now you, we're getting into the book and this is a uh, New also, am I? Right. The book is new also, but I do want to say one more thing about the CD. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, is you know, I I go around and soon my brother Rockstar, we go, I go around now currently to schools across the country, right? Mm -hmm. And I speak. And there's often times where schools can't afford uh, to have me come out. So what we've been having the students do at these schools is using these CDs <laughs> as a fundraising tool mm -hmm. to help bring us out. So I just wanted to make sure that there was available information for was superintendents and teachers listening is that we're always going to find a way to get into your school because yeah. that's how important it is to us. So that's mm -hmm. why we've got this cool CD to also help us offset some of those costs to bring yeah. us so in. So order your CDs now. So order the CDs <laughs> right. now at rockstarsuperstarproject.com. It's going to help 
us yeah. get into your school. Right. As far as the book is concerned, it's a book re recommended by the Association for Addiction Professionals. Um, it's endorsed by them. Uh, the foreword was written by Robert Lindsay, who's the CEO of the National Council of Alcoholism and Drug Dependence. And it's a very powerful book about my first 30 days to, to uh, into sobriety. And it's an actual day-by-day -day account of those first 30 days. So uh, it really gives you kind of a wonderful perspective on where my thinking may have been um, went astray at times mm -hmm. where it was unhealthy um, and at times where it was healthy. And I, would, and I went back a year later and, and uh, made some notes as to those thoughts. And anyway, it's a wonderful tool to teach how it is that we think. I don't glorify drugs in there. What I um, really uh, have gotten into, I think, that's very unique in regards to this book is showing the reader, letting them experience how it is those that suffer from substance use disorder think. And of course, this is my perspective. Soon there will be a rock star book. His perspective, the mm -hmm. friends, the family member of the addict, I think is extremely um, important. It's just as much pain going on in that world it is, it, as it is well, in mine. Your, your brother actually um, reached his hand out to you. Uh, yes. And he's the one that actually saved you in many ways. Oh, I should say you saved yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> saved myself. <laughs> I do. It is but. true. But you know what? I, th I think that my brother Rockstar was very instrumental in helping me see that there were those around me that did want me to find help. And uh, he pointed me in the right direction because of his due diligence in regards to learning about addiction. And uh, so thank you, Roxanne. Absolutely. Addiction is a family disease. It affects much more than just the addict. It also affects the friends and family of the addict as, as well, which is why we think that maybe having a two-part book is certainly a, a very important you know, instrument for people to have at home. So, a you tool. Know, when a, fam a tool, if you will. Mm -hmm. So when a family member is, you know, how did, how did Rockstar feel on day 33? So we think that it may be because my days are written as far as the 30-day perspective or 90-day perspective, actually. I actually did a full 90 days, so we're going to get that out there and see if we can help some family members you, cope. How long do you see this being? you have any time frame at all? On well, it we're, we're, we're working on the material just trying to, I've got a lot more to write. Um, yes, right. But a lot is written. A lot mm -hmm. is written. Probably, I'm just going to throw a number out there, S six more months. Yes. Yeah. So, well, by the time you're seeing the show, it, it might might be out, but right. hopefully uh, uh, it'll be better than that. I, I did want to um, mention that uh, Rockstar uh, actually uh, has, has been involved with uh, with me in the past too, and uh, actually uh, uh, was involved with our studio in Marion, New York, when you started. And that's how that's I right. got to know them. And that's Chris right. was involved also. Uh, uh, Superstar. Anything <laughs> with, you want. <laughs> okay. With, uh, with uh, my son, as uh, was your teacher, Mike Chris, yes. uh, taught you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but they, they are kind of my kids, these two here. I've known them since they were kids. You gave me chills. And, uh, I'm, I'm not kidding you. And, and I th I've never forgotten them. I mean, when I saw him, uh, he came in a few days ago and uh, yes. said, I said, Chris, you know, I just gave him a big hug and where you been, you know. But all my students are that way to me and they are too. Uh, but bringing them here, I thought, uh, was a way of also being able to communicate with all you parents. If you have uh, children or relatives or friends that are having trouble, uh, these are the uh, people to get a hold of. I think that will, I think they'll be able to encourage uh, the young people, especially the young people, uh, to uh, f go the straight path to be a. a be how do you say it not sobriety uh, yeah sobriety. No, I, it, it, we are there to encourage. sober we are right. sober yeah. a life of sobriety if necessary and we are yeah. there to encourage and inspire others yeah you know by waking up and doing that next right thing every single day will take you to that next right place and you right. too can become a rock star you too can become a superstar or a music teacher or anything else for that matter yeah. or a legend or a legend you know, right <laughs> And of course, uh, we got our cool we rock got, star. Yep, want to see that. You know, hold that up there. Good. You know, the got our cool rock and recovery t-shirts. Uh, you know, uh, those are for sale on the website, rockstarsuperstarproject.com. Again, all these proceeds go towards getting our message out into the schools and communities. We do community events as well. So thank you. This is uh, something that I wanted to show. Uh, this is actually... Um, the prayer of serenity. Serenity prayer. Yeah. Serenity Poster prayer. In 11 or 12 different languages we have on there. It's a, it's the serenity prayer is a prayer that many people in recovery lean on. 
for during their struggle. And uh, we thought it would be very appropriate to get it out there in as many languages as we could to convey the power that this thing is all around the world and we all lean on you know, these, these types, this type of inspiration. Uh, real quickly, in the back, I don't think they can see this, but in the back you have some stars here that you have uh, uh, performed yeah. with. you want to tell us about, uh, I don't know, if you have to look at them maybe? No, I don't need to look at them. Okay. Of course, can you, can you, stars we have so Bruce amazing. Kulik from uh, KISS and Mark Slaughter from Slaughter and Dave, uh, uh, Dave Schultz from the Goo Goo Dolls participated. Uh, Chris Caffrey from Trans Siberian Orchestra and Sabotage, of course, and Cherie right. Curry from The Runaways. Of course, yeah. A lot of wonderful, a lot of wonderful <laughs> people, and of course, Zach Stevens here sitting beside me, and he's going to be very involved on that next CD. Yeah. Uh, the um, the people that are involved uh, that you were just mentioning, a lot of them, were they on this CD? They're all on that They're CD. On there. Howard Lease from Heart, from yeah, another example, all great there. guy to work with. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, well, I, uh, again, I want to uh, thank you all, uh, particularly, uh, uh, my, uh, you know, not particularly, all of you. I just thank you so much for being on the show, and I hope that uh, we can encourage a lot of people out there that maybe some superintendents and uh, heads of uh, towns that uh, want to bring you into their town, and uh, we're uh, looking forward to see you, seeing you around again, and I'll have to you know, get involved with you some way or another. So. Deal. Okay, and, so, uh, okay, buddy. Love it. Uh, Chris, thank, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Zach, thanks a lot. Thank you so much for being on the show. You got us. it. Thank you. Uh, Mark, my man. You don't mind if you. I take my necklace back, do you? Oh, no, no, I get uh, yeah, It's starting to look pretty good, good on right me. now. No, no, give me a necklace. There you go. No. no, I'm just kidding. Should I button up my shirt? Wait a minute. No, don't button it. Keep that. Because you two are a rock star. Okay, thank you. I'm a rock star now, officially. Right, Uncle Nick? No. I'm a rock. You're right. I'm mean, a rock. You're a rock. So, uh, Just don't ask my brother how he's feeling today because he will say super. Yes, he will. Every time. Exactly. And that's where I shop at the supermarket. <laughs> well, it is super, isn't it? From, uh, from Uncle Nick and uh, me, Ray Brazelton, your host. We hope you enjoy this uh, different show and uh, you have a good day. On the floor, I just blacked out, and I need my score. Am I insane? The drug says no. My mind has stopped, but my heart says go, go, go. I just want some more, just a little more, yeah. Tiny dirty mix make the mystery fix, yeah. Give it to me. Give it to me. Hey man, not today. No time to live life your way. Hey dude, not today. Leave me alone, get out of my way. My habit feet. It takes its toll My family bleeds To help save my soul I hear your cries But ignore your calls I destroy myself Now watch me fall Can I find some more? Just a little more, yeah a tiny dirty mix is the mystery fix, yeah Give it to me Give it to me Hey man, not today No time to live life away Hey dude, not today Leave me alone Get out
Like a wave 